electrical work, plumbing and even electricity, the company runs refresher courses for its older employees where they can keep in touch with new developments. There are no dead-end jobs. Many men who started here as apprentices now hold important positions in the company. Classroom lectures, too, are part of the regular curriculum. Everything, in fact, is done to ensure a thorough technical training. The study of gas is complicated. Every day there is something more to find out about it. To this end, laboratories have been set up where all the various methods of gas manufacture can be studied and improved. Here, for instance, a girl is carrying out what is now a routine test, an analysis of the gas itself. The improvement of retort houses and carbonization is being studied. How to reduce the quantity of coal used. A new method of producing gas from oil. These are only a few of the problems under continual research. Apart from the study of gas manufacture, departments have been set up to deal with the various problems connected with its uses, both industrial and domestic. What's the temperature? 1405. Good, let's have a look. This is all dealt with at Watson House. How gas heats, how it freezes, methods of gas utilization in Britain's housing schemes, the testing of new fires and cookers, the testing of the actual metal to be used in gas appliances. In the water heating laboratory, Scientists are working to find the best method of supplying hot water to the public in the cheapest and most efficient way. Everything is subjected to critical examination, from the large central heating boiler to the small domestic water heater. 152. 152. Coke, a smokeless fuel and one of the cheapest forms of heating, is examined in the Coke laboratory. The various grades that have been produced by the company's retorts and coke ovens are tested to find out which types are more suitable for industrial or domestic purposes. Right. Three. Right. Coke is important when one remembers that used as a heating medium, it will help to free our cities of soot and dirt. There is a laboratory that deals with the heating and ventilation of rooms. Here, a scientist is finding out whether a new type of gas fire will give out the same proportion of heat in every direction. sizes in use today. Small meters for the home, large ones for factories and hotels. But no new type of meter will go into use until it has been subjected to rigorous testing at Watson House. One laboratory has been set aside for the improvement of cookers. And as a result of research that has been carried out here, millions of housewives have benefited. As the ultimate criterion is how efficiently the cooker will cook, there is a research kitchen where it can be tested in its normal surroundings. As a final check, a number of these cookers will be sent out to various consumers who will use them in their own kitchens on test for a time, and then give their detailed opinions on them to Watson House. Finally, there is one large laboratory that deals with general problems not confined to one type of gas appliance. 
It may also deal with a query sent in from the meter or cooker laboratory. But whatever it is, there are groups of scientists to find out the answers. Experimental workshops are attached to the laboratories where the scientists' theories are turned into practice. Here, every kind of job presents a different problem, but everybody is working toward improving gas appliances for the public. At a stove works nearby, supplies of new gas appliances are arriving every day. As these have been previously tested at Watson House, 